Welcome back to our series on power transformers. In our previous video, we discussed a variety of transformer-related subjects, including transformer losses and efficiency, the significance of neutral current loss, and the importance of efficient offloading strategies. Today, we will focus our concentration to look into a specific feature that holds essential importance in the area of power transformers, the neutral grounding resistor. We'll explore the main reasons behind using the neutral grounding resistor in power transformers. So let's get started. Before we dive into neutral grounding resistor, let's quickly recap what a power transformer does. A power transformer is an important component of our electrical power system, responsible for stepping up or stepping down voltage levels to facilitate efficient transmission and distribution of electricity. It consists of primary and secondary windings, where the primary winding is connected to the high voltage source, and the secondary winding delivers power to consumers at lower voltages. Now, let's talk about the neutral grounding resistor. In simple terms, a neutral grounding resistor is a resistor that connects the neutral point of a transformer to the ground. It plays a significant role in ensuring the safe and reliable operation of the power system. So, what is the main reason for using a neutral grounding resistor? The primary purpose of a neutral grounding resistor is to limit the fault current already present in a single line to ground fault. That is why neutral grounding resistors are mostly employed in low and medium voltage, LV and MV, distribution networks to ensure generators and transformers remain protected from damaging currents in the event of an earth fault. Alternative protective systems like direct earthling neutral and insulated neutral pose serious disadvantages e.g. transient overvoltages, damaging fault currents with possible arc blast, and difficulties in localizing the ground fault in the insulated systems. That is not the case with the neutral grounding resistor system as it provides a swift response to localize the fault and even prevents the overheating. The neutral grounding resistor acts as a current limiting device, reducing the fault current magnitude to a level that the transformer and other protective devices can handle. It prevents the fault current from reaching dangerously high levels, which could result in severe damage to the transformer, electrical components, and even pose a safety hazard. The second reason for using a neutral grounding resistor is to stabilize voltage and reduce transients. Transformers are designed to operate at specific voltage levels, and any deviation from these levels can affect the performance of connected equipment. Additionally, switching events or sudden load changes can cause voltage transients, which may damage sensitive devices. By connecting a neutral grounding resistor, we create a path for fault currents to flow to the ground. This grounding path helps stabilize the voltages across the transformer windings during fault conditions and reduces the magnitude of voltage transients. This ensures that the output voltage remains within acceptable limits, minimizing disruptions to the power supply and protecting connected equipment. The third reason for using a neutral grounding resistor is fault detection. Neutral grounding resistors can provide valuable information about the occurrence and location of faults in a power system. When a fault occurs, the neutral grounding resistor experiences a voltage drop due to the fault current flowing through it. Monitoring this voltage drop across the neutral grounding resistor allows us to detect and locate faults accurately. By analyzing the voltage signal, engineers can identify the faulted phase or section of the power system enabling swift corrective actions to be taken. This helps in reducing downtime and improving the overall reliability of the electrical grid. How does a neutral grounding resistor work? Neutral grounding resistor works by lowering the ground fault current to a predetermined value. With a properly designed neutral grounding system, you can benefit from both ungrounded and solidly grounded systems. When we insert a neutral grounding resistor system between the neutral and ground in a power system, it starts to provide ground fault protection by limiting ground fault currents to safe levels. Hence, it ensures that all electrical equipment in your power system is fully protected. Neutral grounding resistors not only absorb a huge amount of energy, but also dissipate it for the duration of the fault event in a way that the temperature does not exceed limitations. Therefore, the design and selection of neutral grounding resistors are immensely important if you want to protect equipment and ensure personnel safety. The main reasons for using a neutral grounding resistor in a power transformer. We've explored how neutral grounding resistors limit fault currents, stabilize voltage, reduce transients, and aid in fault detection. 
These devices are vital for maintaining a safe and reliable electrical power system. We hope you found this information enlightening. If you have any more questions or topics you'd like us to cover, please let us know in the comments below. Remember, knowledge is power, and understanding the technology behind our electrical infrastructure empowers us to make informed decisions. Thank you for watching.